The Honda Vario, also known as Honda Click, is a scooter produced by Astra Honda Motor since 2006. This scooter is intended to anticipate the increasing population of automatic scooters circulating in the motorcycle market. Welcome to Motoscoop. When it comes to design, it's tasteful. Honda Vario 160 appears to swell from 150. Starting from the front, side, and legs. The face area of the Vario 160 is completely refreshed. Especially on the daytime running light, DRL, which is made as if it is multi-level and has been cut off by the front body panel. While the main lights still use twin LED headlights. Unlike the Vario 150, previously the DRL was made clean without being separated by the cover. When you look at it in more detail, especially the front area, it will be seen that the Vario 160 has a new fender design whose position is close to the lip of the tire so that it looks like a motor sport. Compare with Vario 150 where the fenders look more floating than the tires. Looking at the rear axle, there are not many changes. The shape of the lamp is still similar but more simple and pleasing to the eye. The rear fender which is made separately like a sport motorbike is still maintained by Honda. Moving on to the area of the legs, the Vario's tire size has now increased significantly, from the initial 9080 to 180 front. For rear tires 180 to 120 70. The new tires cover the Y spoke rims like those used on the Honda PCX 160. The rear suspension of the Vario 160 is also not equipped with a preload adjuster or tube model like competitors. But Honda gives a little touch, where the length of the previous 333mm rear suspension is now 344mm. Interestingly, the appearance of the Vario 160 does look denser and gambot, but the data specifications are not much different from that of the Vario 150. The length has increased from 1,919mm to 1,929mm, the width remains 679mm, while the height is now 1,088mm, plus 12mm. Then the use of the frame, the Vario 160 has applied the Enhatched Smart Architecture Frame ESAF, model as installed on the Honda Beat, Scoopy, and Genio. 1.1 kilograms lighter than the frame of the previous Vario model, this supports the stability and agility of the motor. The weight of the Vario 160 also increases from the previous generation. For the CBS version to 115 kilograms up 3 kilograms, and the current ABS variant 117 kilograms. Sharing the same engine platform as the PCX160, the new Vario now has a capacity of 160 cubic centimeters for valve ESP Plus, liquid cooled, which reduces friction and produces a maximum power of up to 11.3 kilowatts at 8,500 rpm with a peak torque of 13.8 newton meters at 7,000 rpm. Compared to the previous version, the Vario 150 is grafted with a 150 cubic centimeters engine capable of spewing power of 9.7 kilowatts at 8,500 rpm, and a maximum torque of 13.4 newton meters at 5,000 rpm. For the all-new Vario 160 CBS, the braking is more or less the same as the Honda Vario 150. Braking at the front and rear is still drum. But for the ABS type, both front and rear are equipped with double discs, namely front and rear. The all-new Honda Vario 160 MSRP, DKI Jakarta of RP, 25.800.000 approximately 91,645 pesos for the CBS type and RP. 28.500.000 approximately 101,236 pesos for the ABS type. Honda Click 150i price in the Philippines starts at 98,900 pesos. Are you planning to buy this motorcycle unit? Let me know in the comment box below. Also don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And if you enjoyed this video, you can leave a like and share it with your friends. Thanks for watching.